Bingo! This place is too creepy. I, I am out of here. Hey there guys, Luigi Advance 22 here. Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last time. <laughs> Look, a lot of things happened. We found the SS Libra. Uh, we found the Bonsly. And my arm is cold. My left arm has been consistently cold for like the past couple days. It is, it is, it's worrisome, man. It's worrisome. I also need to heal. Actually, what am I doing? There's a healing machine in the, in the brain, please. Brain, please. Brain. It's an OMBS. That's what I'm trying to say. Jeez. <laughs> it's not that hard, but my brain is making it hard. Anyways, uh, this time we got called here to OMBS by Sec because he wanted to tell us something. Is it Sec? I think it's Sec. I hope it's Sec. Well, I'm right here anyways. Hey, what's up? Spud, I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What happened to your left arm? Weren't, weren't you wearing the snack machine on it? Yeah, so... <laughs> I've been mugged. Or... Yeah, I've been mugged. Let's just say that. I see. It was Team Snagum's doing. It's not surprising they, that they, would wa they wanted your snack machine. Up to five years ago, Team Snagum was in partnership with Cypher. But when they lost their snag machine, Cypher gave them up as a lost cause. I thought Team Snagum just folded after that. You and everyone else, apparently. They must have spotted your snag machine somewhere. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> oh gee, I wonder why. I'll oh, start investigating Team Snagum right away. I'll let you know as soon as we discover anything. Oh, right, I completely forgot about this email message I received. You see, OMBS got contacted by someone who claims to have fled from Cypher's base. We debated sending out a news team immediately, but there's no guarantee that it won't be a trap or another risky situation. I hate to impose, but you, could you go and investigate for us, bud? Yeah, I got nothing else better to do. Thank you. We we know that you can be trusted with the, and trusted with this, bud. The man who contacted us is named Hordell. He said he'll be at the outskirts stand. The outskirts stand is to, is to the east of Fennec City. You can't miss it. We're depending on you. We will investigate Team Snagum while you're gone. Thanks, buddy. Also, do I have Poke Snacks? It's a real, it's a real legit question. I do. Oh God. Good thing I had the foresight to like buy ten. I don't know why ten, but <coughs> yeah, I don't know why ten. Also, it seems like I'm losing my voice or something like that. I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's not concerning, but it's just weird. Okay, so... We're gonna head off to the outskirts stand, but first, I need to stop by the Poke spots. Because if you remember what that guy said, um, it, maybe the boss I will appear where there are places... <laughs> in places where po wild Pokemon may appear. That's what I'm trying to say. Also would laugh at that Poke spot Pokemon still here, but I doubt it. Yeah, so we're gonna leave like four here and then three. We'll just start with here. I'm not going all over the place. Oh, yeah, I forgot to heal my Pokemon. I need to stop by Fennec first. <laughs> Alright, for real, now I'm heading towards the outskirts stand. Ah, the mirror of radar. What? He's here? But where? Blah. Whew, did I ever pig out? That was the first decent food I had in too long, I tell ya. Yeah, that's great and all, Trudley, but what are we doing? What, what, are we really doing the right thing living this way? I worry about my future, you know? Maybe I need to consider changing my lifestyle. Now what are you going on about, Folly? You're not your usual self. Don't tell me you've forgotten the boss's dream. We're gonna own all the Pokemon in a whole wide world. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, boss. Whoa! Did I overhear you two talking about me? 
Oh, well, if it isn't that super ag aggravating little boy who served me up a bitter memory of the poke spot. Yo, what's up? Fo, what perfect timing for a little exercise after my meal. I walk you out with my elegant steps. Let the music start. I forgot what voice I gave him. That wasn't the right voice, but it's something. Anyways, say hi to your second match with Mir B. Yes, second. <laughs> yeah. But great timing. Also, you have two lombres. Hmm. I need to get Craymond out of there. Sorry, Craymond. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that you're gonna get completely destroyed by those two lombre. Oh, you also have five Pokemon. Ooh, this might be a little bit challenging. Not really, but <laughs> it's still gonna get challenging either way. All right, cool. So, Squeak, how about... Yeah. Took care of that Lombre, no problem. He's dead now. <laughs> God, I love this battle theme, like, too much. Oh, yeah. I think his Lombres, they all have, like, different moves and abilities. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head which one is which. But just keep that in mind. Like, I think he has, like, what, four Lombres? And they all have different movesets and Rain Dance. Not all of them have Rain Dance, but, you know. You gotta get that Chlorophyll. Not Chlorophyll. That's, uh, Swift Swim ability up and going, you know. God, that's a crit. Ha! You've been critted yourself. Goodbye, Lombrel. That was terrible. Oh, and you send out- Oh, you have a nose pass now. Neat. Oh, no. It's a shadow Pokemon! Oh, and I don't have a way to catch it. <laughs> See? We depend on the snag machine so much that it's like when Shadow Pokemon start to appear, you feel powerless. It's like you can't save them. Also, that Ludicolo is scary. Do not want... Alright, um, how can I take care of this? Let's paralyze his nose pass. And we'll get rid of this Ludicolo easily. Blah! Alright, cool. That's super effective. And Ludicolo should be gone. And it is. Hey. Perfect. I like. And plug grew a level. Sweet. Well, since there's nothing I could technically do to catch this nose pass, we're unfortunately gonna have to skip out on it. Whoops. Oh, but it has Shadow Wave, so it's gonna attack both Pokemon. Good thing it doesn't do a lot of damage. Really glad about that. Alright, um... Thunder Punch, no, yes. Yes. I should have used Toxic. Yeah, I need to get Squink out of there. This, this, this will go nowhere. Ah, but it's almost dead. And it's paralyzed. So never mind. We're fine. I'm so glad I found that leftovers. All right, nose pass is dead. Hooray! Oh wait, no, it's a shadow Pokemon. No, nose pass. It's okay. I'll catch you again one day. Just not now, not today. I shouldn't have done something this strenuous after right after eating. Now yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, how dare you! I say, how dare you! Next time I'll put things right and lay down with my elegant steps. Let's go! Escape! Okay. Well, let's go see if we can find that scientist guy.
Oh, hey, look, it's the news again. We bring you a breaking news story. The cargo ship SS Labor was found in the desert north of Fennec. Its baffling disappearance is believed to have been caused by Cypher. It is unclear how to, as to how the ship was transported to the desert, however. Cypher's motives for taking the ship are also unknown. Unfortunately, there was no sign of the numerous Pokemon on board the ship. Concern is rising for their safety and welfare. What a shame. Hey, what's up? See the news? Cypher's been brazen about what they do uh, about what they do this time around. But I wonder. Where'd they take all the Pokemon that were on the SS Leap Row? Uh-uh. Hi. Is that right, my friend? So you're traveling by your lonesome. Well, if you're gonna stay on the road, you should stock up some supplies here. I got a selection of Pokeballs, too. For the longest time, Pokeballs were just good for catching dust. They're selling again thanks to the wild Pokemon. So this guy will sell you like the various types of Pokeballs. So like Netball, which is good for your uh, catching bug and water type Pokemon. Nest Ball, which is good for Pokemon under the level 30, I believe? 30 under, so it's basically work on weaker Pokemon, depending on levels. And Tire Balls, more effective as the battle goes on. I don't remember how, until how long, because I know they change how it works in later generations, but yeah. I'm gonna buy a couple of this. I'm gonna buy like five of each. Actually, no, not even five of each, shoot. Here, we'll get three Tire Balls. And then we'll get three of you. Cool. You want to sell some decent stuff, even Pokesnax. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Cool. Hi. I'm Hordell. Are you maybe Spud? My god, to see you. I was terrified that Cypher would find me and drag me away if I stayed much longer. You see, I, fe I fled from Cypher's key lair way in the north. Oh, you know that place? Wow, you people at OMBS sure get information quickly. The key lair is a factory. It was made to mass produce shadow Pokemon. When I discovered that, I was horrified. I came to hate my job, so I escaped. When I fled, I managed to spread uh, spirit away just one shadow Pokemon. But even then, there were already many shadow Pokemon. I'm sure that they produced even more since then. Oh yeah, he, he, there were rumors about someone who purifies Pokemon. Might that person be you? If so, I have a giant favor to ask of you. Will you purify this shadow Pokemon, this shadow Toopy that I have fled with Cypher with? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Please take good care of it. I wish I could say that, but your party is full. Oh. 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 Email. We've located Team Snagum. They've been operating out of their old hideout north of outskirts stand. We don't know the size of the group or much about their leader, Gonzap. Be careful if you're going there. Thanks. By the way, are you searching for Team Snagum's hideout? Yeah. Man, Team Snagum's hideout is somewhere around is around here somewhere. I passed it while fleeing Cypher's key lair. It was in a desolate spot. Cool, thanks, bud. Alright, let me oh. Yo! Wait up! Hey, my name's Willie. I remember who you are now, kid. You're the kid who that sent Cypher pack, uh, packing your Fennec, aren't you? You were on TV. Hey, listen. Let's have a battle, you and me. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah! That's the spirit. All right, all right. Over here, this way. Oh, wait, my Pokemon are healed. Shoot. Yeah! I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Vroom, vroom. Let's roll. This music, though. And he has Zigzagoon! And Zigzagoon! Beautiful. Alright, Craven and Squink. I know both of you are decently fine, but I doubt Atreus and. Yeah, no, well, Atreus barely battled. But, uh, no, don't go back to the Pokemon. I'm mashing A again. Alright, uh, we're gonna break break. <laughs> We're gonna break this zigzagoon! Alright, cool. <laughs> That's one now. I don't remember if these zigzagoon have anything special to them. I think they're just there. <laughs> they're just normal zigzagoon with normal moves. Oh, and a Linoon. Cool. No, stop attacking me! Yeah, here, you dang raccoon dog.
All right, and you're sending out another line of wounds. So you have two zigzag wounds and two line wounds. You know what? I'm not judging you. All right, you know dig. And you're also fast. Surprise. All right, so the one I'm trying to go after with Brick Break is, is the one underground. And you flinch, so it doesn't even matter. All right, cool. Don't flinch. Don't flinch, Squink. That's like the last thing I need. It's super effective, but it doesn't seem like it did that much. All right, and that Light Noon is dead. Goodbye. Oh, finally, Kramen is level 30. He's been stuck in the uh, low 20s for a while. All right, cool. Let's break him. Oh, just a tiny bit of health. It's fine, though. It's fine. Except when it dug. Okay. Just, just gonna, just gonna wait. Just gonna, just gonna have to wait, wait it out. Oh yeah, it's it's super effective. All right, look at that damage you're throwing in my face. All right, cool. And Squeak grew a level. Alright, I need to swap out my party. <laughs> but we beat Willy! Tch! I can't handle the loss. I still need seasoning. But yeah, you're tough. Real tough, kid. You stomped us good. So long as you're around, Ori's future is safe. You're a cool guy. That's all I, I gotta say. I gotta get... A Pokemon, so hold on. Alright, I'm here to pick up that Togepi. Yes, thank you. Hey, look, we got the thing! Okay, there you go. Please purify my little guy for me. Alright, cool. So, yeah. Th this is actually a Shadow Pokemon that you need to get to purify. So, yeah, here we go. Togepi. I'm not using it. Hustle trades accuracy for power. Uh, I'd rather get Serene Grace on it, though. Oh, it looks like you know Safeguard. But, uh, a little bit of information about this Togepi, right? Because I won't do it, but I might point it out again later. Uh, once you, um, purify the Togepi, and you bring him back to Hordell, he will be like, oh, you purified the Togepi for me. Oh, that's cool. Can I get you to trade it for my Elekid? I grow him fond of my little guy. So yeah, basically he'll trade you for like, uh, he'll trade you for an Elekid. And the Elekid is... okay? It can't, it, it's like, what, level 30, so it's like right about to evolve to an Electabuzz. Um, and it comes with the moves, I want to say Brick Break, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch. Which, if that moveset sounds familiar, is basically a moveset for any gift Electabuzz from here on out to up until Gen 4. Uh, because I remember they were giving away a lot of, uh, opportunities to get Electivire back in the day. Because the only way you could get it is by trading with an item and, not, and that was still a new thing. But, uh, yeah, if you do that, you'll lose Togepi. So you won't be able to bring Togepi to the main game. And I... I hate to say this, but like it's not worth getting that Elekid. And I will tell you why immediately. Not now, not in the next area, but at some point in the near future, we would actually get an opportunity to catch an Electabuzz because there is a Shadow Electabuzz. So it's like, it's kind of weird that they gave you this option to trade away this Togepi for an Elekid. I mean, granted, this Elekid knows the elemental punches, which is actually useful in any situation, but it's just like, why, when you could get an Electabuzz later? I mean, I guess you could get it early, 
and you don't have to catch that shadow like the buzz, but I just don't see why. If it was a different Pokemon, like a Pokemon you can't normally get in this game, then yeah, I'd say go for it. If you don't want to get Togepi and, and Junk, but like, I don't know, that's just me. That's my opinions. Anyways, I've, I've rambled on long enough. If you like what you see, uh, I'm calling this an episode, by the way. So if you like what you see here, then slap that like button. Really like what you see here, then slap the subscribe button. You won't regret it. If you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And on the next episode, we're going to head off to Team Snag and Tide Out and, and, and get something so it'll make my arm warm again. Even in this desert wind, it's so cold. And I'll see you guys then.